there's often a tendency to focus on how to make a good first impression, which is great and highly valuable information to have. However, a first impression can also be ruined without you realising, resulting in lost opportunities or relationships where there may have been potential. Therefore, we look at 5 things that make a bad first impression. Number 1. Weak Handshake Let's be absolutely clear, when you shake another person's hand, you shouldn't be aiming to send them to the hospital with some broken bones. However, a firm handshake is recommended when meeting people, as it shows confidence and can give a sense of warmth to the other person. The key is to avoid a weak or wet fish handshake, which studies have shown people with a limp handshake are judged as being shy, anxious, less open and lacking in ability. So be firm, reciprocating the other person's pressure and holding the handshake for 2-3 to three seconds for a good handshake. Number 2. No Eye Contact Much like shaking hands with someone, your eyes can play an important role when meeting someone for the first time and making a positive or negative first impression. If you make eye contact, it shows confidence and engagement, making it easier for the other person to connect with you when they speak about certain subjects or aim to build rapport. However, failing to make eye contact can make you appear uninterested, lacking confidence or anxious, qualities that are generally less attractive. This doesn't mean you have to stare, but regularly make eye contact through the course of a conversation, especially when listening. Number 3. Chewing Gum Chewing gum can be argued as a strange one, as it's totally dependent on circumstance and context of who you are meeting in that particular moment. For example, if you go out casually to meet someone and are chewing gum, it can appear friendly and relaxed, which are attractive qualities in that environment. However, for formal situations or in the workplace, it is often best to avoid gum as it can appear immature and childish, at the same time appearing unprofessional. However, use your judgement though, as I regularly chew gum towards the end of the day at my workplace, but I'm aware that it's accepted where I work and I'm not meeting people for the first time, having already built up a reputation of professionalism with my colleagues. Number 4. Wrong Topics for Conversation Again, with conversation topics, context and circumstance are critical in understanding what's appropriate and what isn't. For example, when speaking to someone professional, it might not be best to delve deep into personal subjects such as family, religion or health until you get to know them. This is because they might feel uncomfortable when speaking about these things and need time to build a rapport and relationship with you first. However, some of these might be acceptable in a more personal or social circumstance, such as asking about what family someone has when you're on a date. Number 5. Invading Personal Space Just as subjects during conversation might make other people uncomfortable, equally important is respecting someone's personal space, or personal zone of comfort. This can vary person to person, so it's best to follow some basic rules when first meeting someone, such as keeping a few feet or roughly one meter away when meeting someone for the first time in a formal situation. Not only does this mean that you don't infringe on the other person's personal space, but they won't feel you are uncomfortable being around them when speaking to them. In social situations, you can possibly be closer depending on the person, but respect boundaries and the feelings of others, as the key is to help them feel at ease. Has someone made a bad first impression on you? If so, why? Let me know in the comment section below. Please like, share and subscribe as we help you live life on your terms. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest uploads. Thanks for watching.